Okay guys, so <clears throat> I bought um, this printer on offer up for a really, really good price and it is brand new. Here is the ink that it came with and it is a Pixma MX922. It's brand new and so I am going to actually use this as an edible printer and you can put, instead of regular paper, you can use wafer paper or frosted icing sheets. Also, um, I already had bought my cartridges, bought some cartridges online. So this is sort of the same as what it came with, but I will not be using the original ink, I'm actually going to be putting in my own ink cartridges that I bought on eBay and um, flip this over so you can see it's edible ink and this one is 251XL and it fits on this printer so that I can use it to make um, you know, edible images for desserts, for cakes, cupcakes, stuff like that. So, just wanted to show you guys what I got. If you want to do something like this, instead of actually buying, um, you know, the actual printers, you can buy certain cannons, and you can buy the ink that goes with it. Um, there's certain stores online, like eBay, that sell um, the edible ink. I'm not sure the name of the store. Um, but there's like a certain store that sells online and they sell like the all the supplies you need for the printers this um, printer to show you opens up like this to make copies this goes down here and then also um, that's for the paper to come out of also has like paper tray and stuff like that has a paper tray um, it does not come it only comes with a charging cord it does not come with a printer cord to go to my computer but I can always just go ahead and get one I actually have one I can use but I can go buy an extra one because I'm gonna take the one from my printer I already have a regular printer for regular stuff and then this printer is going to be specifically just for food items so um, just wanted to show you that that you guys can do that too because they're a little more pricey online but um, I was able to get a really good deal and I can just go ahead and convert it and change it up super excited um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to put in the ink and um, how to print okay guys so I forgot to video I put in my ink and um, I got it going but let me just kind of run you through what you would do. So as soon as you take it out of your package and you remove all the plastic, you would go ahead and turn it on. And it's going to take a couple minutes to, um, you know, just get started and, and it'll walk you through stuff on the screen here. It will um, actually prompt you to add the ink. And it will show you exactly what you need to do in order to add the ink. It will show you the actual picture of the cartridges and removing some stuff from there. Um, some little plastics and it will show you what to do. The only difference um, between the regular ink and the edible ink is that at the top of the edible ink, there's a little button that says press. You would be pressing maybe like a little pinhole through to make a little air hole there um, and that's the only difference and you put them in exactly the same as the regular ink the um, another thing you want to know and to remember because I sort of got it all over me is have some napkins with you and a plate sometimes the ink tends to run out a little bit that's totally norm normal just dry it off um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the ink looks like all right, so to get the ink to the ink, you'd open this, open this, and the ink comes out. 
this is what it would look like. So when you um, set yours up, as soon as, like I said, you unpackage it, you connect it, it'll prompt you to add your ink. So um, you would go ahead and do that. I'm, I'm going to get one of the regular inks just to show you the cap that is going to be coming off of it. As you can see, this is the regular ink. This is the regular ink, but um, it's similar to the other one, um, to the edible one. You would be removing this paper here that says to remove, and then this thing in the bottom, um, whatever plastic comes there. For whatever reason, don't touch that um, little chip back there to make sure that you know your printer is able to read it so don't touch the little chip on the edible ones that I have it is green um, and then the only difference on the edible one is that it has a pure button that says press and you poke a hole through to um, let it breathe or else your printer may not read it as well so this is what um, it looks like And you put them in the order so um, here like you would see that it says um, the blue one the black the yellow the black and the magenta they are labeled on here and so you just put them exactly into where they need to go let me take one out to show this is what they look like and that up there is the hole I'm trying to focus in That's the hole where it said press. You'd be pressing right there. If I can get a good picture of it. Poke a little hole through. I use an X-Acto knife. Um, so down here, that's the green little chip. Do not touch it. That's how it looks there. They tend to leak a little, so you do need to make sure you have a napkin around. Um, and as you can see, edible. So once you put all of these in, and this is how it goes in, you just gotta press all the way down, make sure it clicks and that the light turns on and that's how you know that is in all the way. Once you got this done, you can go ahead and close it. And what it would do next is once you close this, um, once you close this, you know, it'll read your um, ink and everything and then it's gonna want you to do a printer head alignment um, I went ahead and did that you need to go ahead and do that um, it comes with special paper the printer to do that and so I used the paper that it came with because it's okay to put regular paper through and it's still gonna print it so I followed the instructions for the machine on the printer head alignment and then what I did was put the paper in with the little slice going in and it did the printer head alignment and then it was good to go. It also asked me to set up um, a wireless um, connection. I'm not really going to use it wirelessly, I'm just going to connect it to my computer. So I skipped that, but if you do want to do it wirelessly you and set it up to your internet, you can just follow the prompts and go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to get the paper to show you the printer head alignment paper and which way it should go in. So here we have what comes with your um, printer is for the printer head alignment um, paper as you can see there and it has the instructions. I like I said I just followed the instructions for the printer exactly what it said and when you do the printer head alignment just follow the instructions and this paper has a little slice right there it goes in to the left and towards the back push it in and then once you push that in um, it will here prompt you and there's buttons here that light up you just follow the screen and it tells you what to do so now the printer you know I set it up I picked English um, for the language I did not set up a wireless you know, I put in my ink, I followed the instructions for that, I did the printer head alignment, and now it's ready to go. And when you print, um, it gives you the levels of your ink here, so you know what you've used. I'm going to go ahead and print something off my computer. You can print a picture, you can print, you know, a logo, anything you want to print on rice paper. And I also ordered rice paper online. 
you can also order the frosting sheets and that works with this just as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how this works. All right, so here I already connected the printer to my computer. The printer does not come with the printer cord, only a power cord. So you need to make sure you buy one online so you can have that readily to connect it to your computer. Um, here you can see, um, I have a picture of my daughter's bunny that I will be printing. And um, let's see, I'm gonna show you um, the rice paper. This is the rice paper I bought. I bought rice paper online. Um, picture of who I got it from. Got it from them, rice paper. I keep it in a plastic bag. I feel that it stays more fresh in a plastic, big plastic Ziploc bag, but you can also keep it like in a plastic bin. It came um, wrapped up in plastic. So what we're gonna do is go to the bottom tray here, as you can see. And on this paper, there's a shiny side and then there's like a bumpy side. I like my picture to print on the shiny side. So I'm gonna put the shiny side down. Put the shiny side down. Make sure this fits good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and push it in. I don't load a whole bunch of um, paper because I don't want it to dry out. So I only load what I'm using and I keep the rest in the package. All right, so here we are. I opened up, I just opened up my picture and now I'm printing. I can print it like this and get a full picture, but I'm not really looking to waste ink. So I'm going to print something small just to show you. And I'm going to change here, um, right here. I'm gonna change the size, I can scale it. But you can also remember, go here and look for different sizes of stuff that you want, like a four by six, five by seven, stuff like that. You can also always download programs and templates that help you to print in circles, um, things like that. Um, I have an Avery account and I usually print most of my labels on Avery. So you can actually even go on there and it'll print stuff in circles for you and then you can cut them. Or like I said before, there's people um, that's where you can buy the frosting paper from and you can also get... Um, you know templates from them and specific to what you're buying from them so just like a label and um, just like Avery label something like that and then it'll print exactly you know on your circle and then the circle is already pre-cut you can do that too but for now I'm just going to show you how it works how the, as this edible printer works I am going to make this a little bit smaller so I'm just going to do 45 um, maybe even just 40 because I just want something small so I'm gonna go ahead and click print. Printer is turning on. As you can see, it's warming up and then once it warms up and it's printing, it goes pretty quickly on printing stuff. So there, um, let's see if I can focus in, you can see your ink levels, for some reason it's not quite showing good on my camera. As you can see, it is printing out my image. And the next thing you want to do is lay it on a flat surface to dry. So I'm going to just put it right here. So there is my image, it's pretty, came out pretty good. and. You want to let it dry, so put it on a flat surface. Even if you are filling up your whole page with an image, make sure it's on a flat surface and it's drying out, um, you know, before you're moving it around or playing with it. But I'm gonna lift it up just to show you um, that it comes out pretty good. That's the image. Then you can cut this out. You can put it directly on icing. I prefer like a buttercream type of icing to put it on not necessarily like a whipped topping because it tends to crinkle up on that but a buttercream works really good if you're gonna put it on top of that I truly prefer for this wafer paper is cutting out a very thin piece of fondant to the size of the picture that I want it to be and I roll out the fondant and as it's still kind of wet the fondant I put my image on top 
and I feel that it it's the best quality unless you're doing like a frosting sheet of paper then usually that can go on any type of topping and it doesn't tend to crinkle up at all um, it might it's always going to take the shape and the form of your frosting and your icing so make sure that it's super smooth on both types of paper all right guys so there you have it that's how you can make the Canon MX922 into an edible printer always um, make sure that it is a brand new pin printer never been used with any other ink that can contaminate your food items and always always if this is going to be an edible printer continue to only put edible ink um, never anything else you can even if you have other printers make sure you mark it that this one is your food only printer so uh, make sure that it is brand new when you get it if you are converting one or if you are buying one online because some people sell these printers brand new with the edible ink and all that kind of stuff just make sure that you always um, Keep using edible ink, never use regular ink, and then try to go back and forth because you can contaminate your food. So, um, hope you guys like this video. This machine is super cool. It's one of the newer ones, and I'm super excited about it and to be using it. So, there you have it, guys.